In this lesson, we'll be looking at scripted events for tiles, events that fire when a character stands on a specific tile. This simple modification allows us to make big changes to the way the map works. We'll begin by changing the map array. We won't be using any new tile types. We're just changing the layout so it's a bit more obvious where we're making use of our new functionality. Next, we'll create a list of tile events. These will be named or anonymous functions associated with a tile index. The tile index is the y coordinate multiplied by the map width plus the x coordinate. This is the tile that will trigger the associated function. The function will be passed the character object of the character that triggered the tile event. You may wish to provide additional arguments, but this will suffice for our example. We'll also create a function called drawBridge, which is the event for two of our tiles, which simply changes the type of tile at map coordinates 4, 5 between water and a path tile, depending on its current type. The only other change we need to make is in the character process movement method. After we've checked if the character has completed their current movement and have arrived at their current destination tile, we'll now check if there's an entry for this tile index in the tile events list. If there is, we'll call the corresponding method with this character as the argument. Now, each time a character moves on to a new tile, when the movement has completed, checks for a corresponding event function occur. If an associated function exists, it is executed. Looking at our updated game map, the changes are as follows. We've added a trigger tile to each side of the water to make the bridge appear and disappear. At the bottom of the starting island, we've also added a warp tile, or teleporter, to take the character immediately across the water from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. 